Now to a 12 News exclusive. The murder rampage hitting close to home for a former Arizona Supreme Court justice after two paralegals were killed at a Scottsdale law office last Friday. Stanley Feldman says his daughter was the intended target of accused killer Dwight Jones. In an interview that you will only see on 12, Feldman talks about how his daughter narrowly escaped the path of a serial killer. Team 12's Joe Dana has the story. She handled it much better than I did. I mean, I was just after a wreck and, and helpless. I couldn't do anything. Stanley Feldman says his daughter Elizabeth just escaped the wrath of Dwight Jones last Friday afternoon. She was the one the guy was after. He was evidently going to shoot her, and she luckily had left the office a couple of hours earlier. The 85-year-old retired state Supreme Court judge says Elizabeth was Jones's wife's attorney during the couple's bitter divorce in 2009. Elizabeth happened to leave the office early. Paralegals Valeria Sharp and Laura Anderson were gunned down. He killed the only two people who were in that office at the time he came in on late Friday afternoon. The police took her away and wouldn't let her go home. She had to hide out. Feldman says Elizabeth just returned from a business trip to San Diego and planned to spend the weekend at home with her daughter. So that's what saved them. Luck got it lucky. The judge recalls a voicemail he got from his daughter Friday evening. He says she sounded calm, dad not so much. Well, she was trying to hide from me, hide it from me because she thought I'd get upset. <laughs> uh, and um, finally she left me a message, don't watch the news, I'm all right. <laughs> and of course, that made me get a hold of her real quick. Three days later, as police closed in at this Scottsdale hotel, Dwight Jones killed himself. Joe Dana, 12 News.